I do a lot of work on drug policy and how it's administered through the federal government and down into the states. In many ways, the types of regulations that have facilitated the growth in the use of opioids has uh, really helped foster the opioid crisis that we have today. The federal government is not perfect in the way that it's administering the law. There's certainly things that you can point to that are good and other things that clearly are in need of reform. In the United States in, in 2015, there were over 50,000 drug overdose deaths. Of that, over 38,000 of those deaths were due to opioid overdoses. Uh, that's a serious number of casualties. That is uh, more than most wars that we have fought. state of Pennsylvania's opioid overdose death rate has far surpassed the national average for the past decade, and those numbers are only increasing every year. And it is something that the government is finally waking up to as a national crisis. Smaller communities have a few things that they can take to try to get some sort of relief, some sort of path toward a solution. First is communication within the community, working within the public health community to get the word out not only about the problem, but also the types of solutions that exist. Finally, lobbying and making their voice heard with their elected officials, making sure that elected officials know the extent of the crisis and know the types of needs that a community has. That's the best way to move uh, toward a solution.